On this date in 1929 at the Polo Grounds, the New York Giants become the first team to use a public address system, wiring the empires for sound. It was a failed experiment. In 1947, Larry Doby becomes the second black player to play in the major leagues and the first to appear in the American League. Striking out as a pinch hitter for the Indians in a 6-5 loss to the White Sox, the 22-year-old would go on to play in the major leagues for 13 years, amassing 1,515 hits, just three less than Jackie Robinson. The Veterans Committee enshrined Doby in the Hall in 1998. And on this date in 1951, after a three-game sweep of the Giants at Ebbets Field, Dodger manager Chuck Dresden declared, We knocked them out. They won't bother us anymore. By season's end, the seven-and-a-half game lead the Dodgers enjoyed on that day would finally fall to Bobby Thompson's shot heard round the world. Also on this date in 1951, future Hall of Famer Rich Goose Gossage was born in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And on a sadder note, in 2002, baseball legend Ted Williams, considered by many the greatest hitter in the history of the game, died of cardiac arrest at the age of 83. The first ballot Hall of Famer was a lifetime 344 hitter, won both the MVP and the Triple Crown twice, and hit 521 home runs during his 19-year Red Sox career. Nicknamed the Kid, Williams led the American League in batting six times and hit 406 in 1941. He accomplished all of this while missing the better part of five seasons, serving his country as a pilot during two wars for the United States Marines. That was July 5th, This Day in Baseball.